The logging industry in our province has cut its way through some tough years, but now, finally, things are looking up. The U.S. housing market is turning around, and insiders say our forest industry is too. But its future may really hinge on what happens in B.C. May 14th, the day you decide who will lead the province for the coming four years. CTV's Louise Hartland has the story. From the forests of Vancouver Island to the conference center in downtown Victoria, the logging industry is buzzing about what could lie ahead. And so things are actually on the upswing. Hundreds of loggers and forestry workers are in Victoria for the 70th annual Truck Loggers Association Convention. The 15,000 loggers associated with the TLA will be paying close attention to the outcome of the provincial election. We're talking to uh, politicians across the board. The executive director says a simple policy change can have a significant impact on the industry, negative or positive. It may be uh, something they're looking at uh, for, for log exports. It may be something they're looking at to uh, change the annual allowable cuts. Uh, um, it could have a, a detrimental impact. The logging industry is reaching out to members of the NDP, the Green Party, as well as the Liberal government in hopes of securing its future in the province and clearing up misconceptions. So if we're talking about uh, real jobs and having a real impact, if we can work on uh, with the next government to work on policies that will help us maximize that AAC, uh, we can actually improve things vastly on the coast here, just bringing more revenue to the province, creating more jobs on the coast. Uh, it's a real win-win situation. For the TLA, the debate over raw log exports is a moot point, saying there are enough trees in the allowable annual cut for exports and job growth in BC. The forest minister is scheduled to speak at the convention tomorrow, and the government says he will announce the results of a log export review, along with steps to improve the coastal forest economy. So at grade 11, they learned the theoretical underpinnings of forestry and natural resource management. Ryan Dvorak teaches sustainable resource management to high school students in Port Alberni. He sees a bright future for forestry in BC, and so do his students. If you look at the truck loggers numbers over the next 10 years, they're anticipating a minimum of 15,000 uh, job openings. I was at a meeting with Western Forest Products in Port Alberni the other day. Um, their average age of their employees is 62. There is a wait list for the Port Alberni program, and the industry is hopeful future government policy will sustain an industry for those students to work in. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Victoria.